Hey, 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 everybody, I'm here, and welcome back to another episode of our Endless Space 2 New Player Guide, where we are playing the Ripborn. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and don't forget, I just joined. Wow, you're going to be wanting to yell at your screen. All right, let's get to it. We are starting on land invasions of the Unfallen. Now the Ripborn, not the Ripborn, the we Volters, the hungry oh, shadows. they we'll are coming in onto our territory, but so will we. It's going to be a push and shove with them. They are decently strong at 374, while we are at 293. But we will get even stronger when we take out the Unfallen, and then we can turn our resources on to taking out the Volters. So yay, that will be nice and sexy. We will be... We're just going to keep getting stronger. We will have a military behemoth up to take out their economic behemoth. Since they do have that boy. We could... We could get another system with these guys, which wouldn't be bad. Because it is a gas planet. Well, I mean, we cannot colonize gas planets just yet. You need a special technology, which is, I believe, here? No? Here? No? There you go, extreme atmospherics. I was trying to, I'm like, this gas? This gas? Where, where, where is the gas? Ooh. Oh, hello. Plus five production on sterile. That is very much needed. There's so much things that's like, yes, we need, we need. I mean, 23 turns of science we have focused on. Yikes. Though... Honestly, all of it is needed. All of it's needed, so... We can slowly get to it. Slowly get our technology. At least this is going to be impact... Size so we get the mercenary heroes unlocked. And we can start getting uh, extra dust. I mean, this would be 28 extra dust from Silo Cat. 8, 8, and 8. Oh, eight, eight, and six. And six. Actually, no, we don't have hydras. Never mind. We have these guys. And then whatever we start colonizing out here. I kind of want to pop with Zynus before I go. I, I, ooh, this is going to be difficult. I mean, Zynus is great because it has the titanium and the hyperium, which we kind of do need. So we'll see. We will see. All right. I'll start the timer. If I can get to the timer. Timer, timer. There you go. Let's get to it. I might start skipping. We shall see how everything plays out. And just focusing on the... This is what's going on. There. Alright. So we do have this. Yay. Yeah, that's fine. Have a system with nine... It, system improvements sweet so this is our chapter story quest it's been a while wow feelings of strength sweep through my forces on vanguard making them even more determined in their mission in the fields their wards they're very bearing i see that they are fearless that they will defend cross both the old and new to the death we have our fortress i wonder though are we misplacing our confidence did we build a stronghold from which to conquer the galaxy? Or a prison to entrap ourselves? Ooh. Alright. Today, one of my patrols made a startling discovery. A curious, pitiful creature was found living in a windswept hovel on the edge of a great frozen lake far to the north. This universe, with its ugly forms, its soul-shuddering sound, its perpetual downward grasping, is difficult enough to understand at the best of times. But this creature was, on another level, an enigma, with rags of garment, garbled speech, and erratic movements of its slender, serrated limbs. I wonder what possible worth this thing could possess. Over long, painful days, though, I come to appreciate that this creature, Onyx Jinx, could be very valuable to us. Although Onyx Jinx is a damaged soul, half mad, half delusional, its mind driven down dark. Slowly, I learned its story. 
It's a member of a race called the virus. Well, maybe race is too generous a word for the smattering of creatures scattered across the galaxy. The virus, you see, are escaped viral lab experiments hypervolved by a mysterious substance called dust. Onyx Jinx once lived with others, a commune of Eider on an abandoned moon. But it stole a great haul of dust for research, they fell out and Onyx Jinx was banished. The virus tells me the end times are coming. I've never been anyone mentioning Onyx Jinx's existence to the commune back on Koraz. To begin with, that was because I needed to know more before I reported back. But too much time has passed for that to be true any longer. The truth is that the commune are ill-equipped to lead in this universe. They are remote and out of touch. Ah, so I, the Grand Viceroy of New Koraz, will decide the fate of Onyx Jinx. We can kill it. We get sensory deprivation rest house. So we get plus five happiness with our major population. We can recruit. Colonize a new system and raise its science to 60. And we get Onyx Jinx. Oh, well then. Oh, it's a scavenger. Hmm. Creepy. Or we can reunite. And get plus five happiness with non-major population. Wow. Um, I kind of. I kind of want to do this. Colonize, colonize a new system and raise its population. The science is 60. We can kind of get this easily. I, I, I kind of want this. I kind of want this guy. We're going to recruit him. Life is full of unexpected events and questions, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so there's one that the first of the blood we looked at hard was influence pressure. For the good of the kin. Thank you, Walters. When you have diplomatic, any kind of communication with another empire, during the diplomatic screen, there is influence. So they are pressuring us three a turn. So this means they could enforce stuff. If it gets to a certain point, you can start enforcing d options or demands. Like if we get to say here we can force them to give us all the manpower or all the deciduous trees all the titanium all the hyperium we can force them to give us whatever we want hmm. they definitely don't want peace they're gonna start they're gonna declare war that sooner or later so that's interesting so we have to get a new colony that's really good. And have a lot of science. I mean, that's really good. Not only do we have the low gravity, we got the, all that hyperium and titanium. Uh, might be good. I'm against, uh, there's not that much science coming from there. Well, by Dupavo. No, I, I honestly think going to Zynus will be the better just because you can get the Hyperion and Titanium early. And it's a lot. It's three and two. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We are going to do that. There's a small ship there, a light ship. Ooh, a coordinator. So that's their medium defensive ship. Interesting. Kinda scary. I 
I will admit. I, I kind of want to get you to combine up there so we have a full fleet. I just will feel more comfortable with a full fleet. We do have the marketplace now for heroes. Yeah, heroes are so expensive. But they can be very useful guys. Ooh, that's someone new. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. Interesting. That's a lot of production. Wow, that's a lot of production. Ooh, you'd be an amazing governor. Like a really good governor. Oh, well, you're building a cipher, aren't you? You are. Good. We kind of need some more just military ships. Production is really low. Interesting. Oh, because they're all gas. Okay, that's why. These are all. They're not production systems. That would be why. They're size based. Which is fine. That's fine. Alright, so we do need a new colony to get 60 signs. Well, that's... Actually, that can be Zionist really easily. Well, um, maybe not as easy. But we can get to it. Thanks to Hyperion doing one extra science. This Mediterranean will give us... 9 production per 3 dust, 6 food. Alright, that's, that's... I mean, the food's useless. But everything else is good. Alright. Oh, this, this, yes. I'm so happy we're going to research that. This will give us 20 production per planet in a system. Um, yay, we get the titanium slugs. Arrest the spies, 10 influence for 20 turns. That's. Oh my god, 200 influence? Yes, please. Kind of need that at the moment. Hey, we discovered Super Spuds! Cool. Gotcha is doing a Phantom now. Right, I have an election. Really? Ecologists? Hmm. Okay. Oh, we found a pirate. Oh, and here's. They're attacking us. Um. Retreat. Damn. Um, okay. So this is their fleet. They have a size of 12 with... Smalls and a medium defender. All right. So we, know, we now know where they are. Scary. Good. Oh, the pirates let us retreat. Good. Alright, so I have a size 10 fleet there against those pirates. Yikes. Alright. Alright. So we the can tell them. The makes hard hold attacking me. For the good of the kin. Life is full of so they did. So you can get 10 manpower per turn on systems, on systems, on systems near uh, Jazz systems. Or. Evasion on ships on fleet. No, let's mobilize. I want the more manpower. So thank you. And with those slugs, we can start doing our invasions quicker. So we're going to go to the cipher. And put one in for here we go. Actually, no, wait, never mind. It's not going to be in this ship. 
um, cancel, please. Thank you, thank you. Extra science. Ooh. Yeah, you're going to be in our fleet, so getting that would be nice. I only up increase their upkeep by one. That's fine. Okay. But let's do an invasion ship. Small invasion. There you go. So what's going to have is two movement. So we do want to go really quickly. But the rest will be invasion. And just in case it's attacked. Because honestly, that is a case. We'll do that. Thank you. I'm going to do two small invasions. There you go. That's been upgraded. That's going to be a very expensive upgrade. That's fine. I already used everything, so... Eesh. We could we could attack. It wouldn't be too damaging. I mean, we have the troops for it. I don't have the manpower for it. But I do want to end this war as quickly as possible. But again, we cannot attack this guy. Until this guy's done with. So we have four turns. Alright, we, we can wait four turns. And that'll make it easier. So when this behemoth is built, it can go attack. Let's give us more resources, please. And we can get a hero! Yay! We can get our hero. Cool! Cool. We can select a new hero. Do we want a governor or do we want a military leader? That is going to be the thing. I think I will want a governor, but let's see what these guys are like. So this would be a decent governor. And it is a uh, rift one. So it's a bean counter, so it'll give us dust, food, and production. Eh. Food, eh. But hey, deposit value's good. Manpower costs. More production. More production. Yay. Science. So not bad. Having governors is always good. Another governor. That's this is an influence governor though. Two deposit of strategic resources, kind of good. More deposit value, very nice. So we have three governors. Interesting. That's. Very neat. Perform population on system. So foreign, I believe, is not your own. It's not the main. And we will have foreign. We'll mostly have foreign. But I think I'm going to go with the Riftborn just because, hey, we are Riftborn. It's kind of thematic to keep with that so we'll go with the rift one hero and don't forget guys comment
No, we lost an amoeba. No, that's so sad. Wow, we have a lot of population here. Holy crap, that's a lot of population units. Um. Okay. Let's colonize the next system. I did not expect so many people. Cool. But yes, comment so you can get a hero named after you. Alright, so let's do with... Ooh. So I can go straight up 15 action production. This actually would be amazing for a Gatria. And the food, the production, the population. Not as many rich born, but that's okay. Hmm. Interesting. How do we want to do that? And getting the Denric will be good. So we do have one gas. We have pretty big planets here. So it'll be seven production, seven food. Level two be fourteen, fourteen. Or we can go thirty food. Or just 15 extra production. Yeah, I don't want to change that. Gotta decide when you're looking what will be the most useful. So to build a ship is 431 production. An extra 15 would be... 200 so instead of 2 turns? Instead of 3? No, it's still going to be 3 turns, but not as many 3 turns. Logic behind that one. Everyone's ecstatic here, so that's nice. Alright, so for food and population growth, we never really covered it. Because we didn't need to. But, ooh, time. To grow a population, you need 300 food. Right now we're making 64 a turn. So once we get 300, we get a new pop. You can make 600 food a turn and have two pops grown every single turn. That is a realistic notion you can do in this game. But just be aware, you can create multiple pops at a time. So what should we do? 200 pops would create one turn of an uh, Riftborn. That actually... That would be good. Oh, that would be good. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. Assign you... Production. And you will be assigned here, Mr... I have no idea that Greek letter. I have no idea what that Greek letter means. Apologies. Alright, we're going to colonize and then have a Riftborn populated. Cool. Sweet. And you know, I'll start colonizing this planet. But all the way at the end. Game Spin Project up now will be, well, at the end. And decent because I mean that's extra influence we don't need it but getting it is nice okay we lost the amoeba that's fine hack yes we got nice all right we got some strategic uh, not strategic luxury resources 
We got some Eden and some Porter Orchard for dust per person. Kind of sexy. Kind of sexy. And we can start a colonization. Thank you. We will. Go here for the titanium and hypnium. So we make 16 production turn. We need 300, I believe, to grow. It's not the same. Alright, well, let's increase it 10 times. And we'll have Zinus up. We should be getting those resources already. Yes, we are. Nice, nice. And money is coming in. Just click. Oh, fine. Um. Tom got hacked. Really? Interesting. Odd. I didn't expect Tom to get hacked. But we'll go there. Why not? Why not? Right, hit end our turn. So it's... Yep. The singularity has expired. Tom doesn't have a production at the moment. Oh, well, hello. So what would we want with Tom? Well, let's go money. Actually, let's colonize first. Colonize production or produce a new Riftborn because it's at 150. This will be overflow. I wish we already have overflow. And then we'll go to money. And then we'll have uh, Tom 3 going. Yay! Zinus, you are 9 turns. And we are set 2 turns. Yay! And having this military behemoth up. Where did your behemoth go? Where did your behemoth go? I think you're moving to Z Jane. Or are you coming here? Not sure. Gotta be careful about that. We got to be careful. But we do have the Gatria now. Yay. That's good. An extra population unit. Two actually next turn. Two growth. That'll be sexy. And we'll be building our new military ships. After we fabricate forces for a little bit. Because we uh, kind of need manpower. Especially when we're doing invasions. Especially when we do this invasion. No, I need my, uh, Good. I need the money. Don't. Alright. Till next time. I don't know what I was thinking. But you guys have been amazing. You guys have been wonderful. Don't forget that like and that subscribe. And we'll see you in the future. Later, alligators.